This is a spiny leaf insect, Exostoma titarium. Spiny stick insects can be found on the east coast of Australia. Females grow 16 to 20 centimeters and are heavy bodied. Females weigh 25 grams and males weigh only half of that. The female's wings are too small for flight. Phasmids mostly use camouflage as a defense against predators. The spikes on their hind limbs are used to kick predators. Males are smaller and thinner, growing to 11 centimeters in length. Males have functional wings, although they are clumsy flyers. Males need to fly to find females and mate. Without males, females can still reproduce asexually, producing genetic clones of themselves, which will all be female. After multiple generations of this type of reproduction, without recombination with a male, it would lower the genetic diversity. Numbers of males would decrease, and susceptibility of the population to disease would increase. See how it sways from side to side? That's to, that's to make it look m m even more like a leaf. When a, when a slight wind comes by, it sways from side to side. So it looks just like a leaf swaying in the wind. If threatened, both sexes point their abdomen up in a sort of scorpion pose and can release a defensive odour that smells like peanut butter. Spiny leaf insects' favourite foods are, are our native plants like acacia and eucalyptus. But if they have to, they will also eat rose, nettle and guava. They grow biggest on eucalyptus leaves. The spiny leaf insect's abdomen is where all the work happens. They make their eggs here and also they flick away the eggs here. How they do this is they make the eggs inside of their body, a lot like a chicken, and then they bring them down to their ovipositor where they're held before the ovipositor make a swift forward motion and flicks the egg up to six meters away from the insect. This, and then once the eggs hit the ground, ground dwelling ants can pick up the eggs and drag them to their burrows. The, the ants are enticed because there is a delicious food nub on the end of the stick insect egg. The food nub on the end of the egg is called a capitulum. The ants just leave them alone once the egg has, has had its food nub eaten. Male and female sexually reproduced eggs hatch in about four months. Eggs laid without male fertilization take nine months to hatch and only produce female clones. Eggs need temperatures of around 25 degrees Celsius or they are unlikely to hatch. Nymphs are ant mix and don't fill the ants but other animals aren't interested in eating ants. Nymphs are 17 millimeters in length looking, moving and smelling like ants. Then they crawl up out of the ants nest before the ants notice that this, that this little stick insect has hatched and try to make a meal out of him. Then the, stick in, then the nymph, nymph stage of the stick insect will climb up into the trees above and will then, become, and then will undergo a lot of sheds going through five instars. And the last instar will be the adult stage. Instar is a term for the stages of an insect's life. Shedding is very important to stick insects and if the temperature isn't right or the humidity isn't right or they don't have enough room to dangle down and pull themselves out of their shed they can have a thing called a mist shed where they may lose legs or at worst lose their life. To shed they need to have double their body length and height 
to, so they don't get a mist shed and die. On windy days and after storms, these insects climb down from the canopies of trees which they usually live in, and then you may be able to see them hanging from lower branches. They do this because they want to avoid being knocked down by the wind. These insects make great pets and can live up to two to three years of age. These stick insects are generally very docile and you can pick them up without worry. They do not bite and are quite beautiful little creatures and you can hold them for quite a while. I don't recommend holding them for too long as this may cause them stress. About 20 minutes a day at maximum. If you hold them for any longer, they can get handling stress, which kills a lot of insects. You'll have to change their leaves every five to six days and get new eucalyptus, um, acacia, wattle, or rose, or guava leaves. And you need to spray them with dechlorinated water. If you spray them with water directly from your tap, this is this is too alkaline, there's chlorine in it. So when the stick insect drinks it, it may cause them to get poisoned, which and it wouldn't really poison us, it only poisons the stick insect. Because of humidity issues with shedding, I use a greenhouse cloth, tank, three foot tall and one and a half foot wide, and can house most of our Australian native stick insects. So now I'm out here and I'm getting leaves for my stick insects. So this is a routine thing you might have to do once every week. And and this is just a large leafed eucalyptus tree. So now I'll clip off a a branch. And then my population of stick insects, I might need to get a few more branches a lot like that one. This is my stick insect tank. It's got multiple sorts of stick insects, such as the spiny leaf insect. And now I'll be cleaning it out. So all that's in the bottom is newspaper. I'll be trying to get out the eggs, and I'll be removing the old newspaper right now. So our first step is to get the bottle with all the leaves in it and lift that out along with all the stick insects and then so all the stick insects are on there they have a good grip so don't have to worry about that and I put that down there because the stick insects they like that those branches so they won't run away and there we go and now the stick insects will just sit there while I clean out the bottom of the cage as you can see it's got all dead leaves from where the stick insects have nibbled off the ends and it's got poos, it's got frass, and it's got eggs as well, like that. So now the first step is to collect out all the eggs, so I'll just grab up eggs and throw them in this container which I put the eggs in. This is not my breed, it is not my brood container. This is just where the eggs are stored. And my brood container is upstairs. And um, I've just got to get all the stick insect eggs in there. And this is just what I do. And, and then I bet I bet there's lots of stick insect eggs in here, but there's and like 20 to 25 eggs a week. 500 eggs are produced by one female. Here are all the eggs I just collected. There's a very large amount of them and mixed species of egg. So that's good. So that's how that's the stick insects done. So that's the spiny leaf insect. The master of disguise. Can you stop? You just moved backwards on me, and then you scratched me. Look at it, it's making a face. Because it's either you will die, or you might die.